go like this. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to today's video. This one is what we've all been waiting for. If you remember last week, we talked about delays on our new RV, but it was in the shipping department and we had no idea when it was gonna ship. Well, two days later, here it is. The big kahona. So we wanted to give everybody a quick walkthrough of the factory 2022 outdoors RV. Uh, this is the 22 FQS model. And, and then we're gonna spice it up a little bit and not just do a tour, but we're gonna talk about all of the things we're gonna upgrade. So I'm gonna start outside first and then Chris will wrap it up on the inside. All right, let's get right into this. As we mentioned, this is our 22 FQS by Outdoors RV. And we ordered this back in May, so it's been about five months. But we're just gonna do kind of a quick walk through the outside. There's not gonna be a whole ton of changes that we're gonna make to the outside. We're pretty satisfied with most of it. Um, but you could see it's kind of this uh, darker gray color with really kind of nice graphics. We thought we wouldn't like those very much at all, but they turned out to be pretty decent looking. We do want to do kind of a vinyl delete on a lot of the words and all of these kind of small ones just to kind of hopefully give it a little bit better of a look. Okay, on the entry door, something we really like about this is the longer window and that's just part of the titanium package instead of uh, a little bit shorter one. It's the nice full length. They also put metal handles on here. It's kind of a cheaper chrome, but at least they're not plastic. We do like that feature quite a bit. Uh, these steps are an Aluma tread. Super easy to deploy in and out. No complaints there. Um, right behind them is the auto leveling system. And that is pretty cool. That's also by Lippert. And it basically has a 10,000 pound capacity where it can electronically level the entire coach. We're very stoked about that. It's working very well. We uh, had no issues with it yesterday or today. And I even installed the RV snap pads last night in the dark with Chris's help. Although I think one of our very first things we're going to do is replace this with the uh, RV lock, which is the digital electronic keypad that comes with a little fob. And just to kind of get rid of the keys, those seem to be pretty popular. And that's something I think I might even do today. This RV comes standard with 15 inch tires, but we did choose to option out the 16 inch and they're a nice Goodyear endurance. So it's not like the cheap tires. We like that. Uh, one thing I'd love to do is add on some matching like all-terrain tires, like the uh, Goodyear Duratrax we have on our truck. I think that would look pretty cool, but that's more of a want to have, not a need to have. And the suspension back here is super cool. It has the Moride CRE 3000, which allows it to have like three inches of travel. So a little bit better for off-road. And it has uh, KYB shocks on both axles, which the axles are 5,100 pound axles. So very beefy on a 9,995 gross vehicle weight trailer. The axles exceed that weight. Also underneath here, you can kind of see the frame. It's an eight inch I-beam chassis, which is very beefy for a 26 foot trailer. Most chassis are probably like a six inch and then uh, it's the same frame they put on their fifth wheels. Um, so pretty cool on that feature. And also right underneath here is the uh, quick disconnect for the propane fire pit or gas grill. All right, just a few more things to talk about on this side. I want to mention the windows. They're a thermal pane, uh, frameless awning style window. I think they look pretty sleek and good, especially with like the gray and black graphics. Um, we have the uh, vent for the stove for cooking, two cheap outside Jensen speakers, and what else do we have here? The fresh water fill, 110. Uh, volt receptacle and this is pretty cool this is a 35,000 BTU furnace which is ducted on the inside but 35,000 BTU is very big for a tiny little trailer like this so it heats this up we checked it out last night and Chris loves it so far okay and just a few more things the awning above us is a 19 foot Dometic awning really like that so far 19 feet 
that's huge. Um, almost the whole width of the trailer, if you see it from that end down to this end, which is right by the, the storage bay here. Again, those same metal handles, magnetic latch. Um, I think they insulate these like one inch thick, maybe. Inside is a nice big outside storage bay. We've never had an outside storage bay before, so this is pretty cool for us. We're very excited to put things in there like a propane grill and maybe a stove. And uh, we're not sure what we're gonna throw in there, but we're excited. There is a keypad to the auto leveling that's in there, as well as auto leveling keypad on the inside. And um, right below it is the ZAMP. This is the 200 watt portable panel. So it's ready to be plugged in. You can see we're using it with a 90 watt uh, solar panel. It doesn't have a charge controller. So you gotta make sure your panel has a charge controller because this is basically just hooked directly up to the wire. Um, but that's doing a great job of just charging the batteries before we put in the giant Battleborn lithium battery system, which is gonna be done immediately. And then we'll talk about the front here real quick. You can see that it's got the uh, windshield up front, which is a titanium feature, extra window. That's a bonus in our uh, book for sure. Um, up front, pretty standard, two 30 pound propane tanks. Um, this toy lock is pretty cool. Um, something that we'll be able to use to, uh, you know, put around our solar panel or something like that. That's an optional add-on along with the two inch receiver in the back and not a whole lot else up here it's got the power uh, level jack and then you can see this uh, setup apparatus right here is our Anderson weight distribution hitch which worked really good driving through the mountains yesterday that was our first time towing and that was pretty good so stay tuned for those type of videos on what we thought about towing this thing how well it towed and it was all pretty good. Um, one ton truck, 7,000 pound trailer, and the weight distribution hitch was very nice. Nice and clean over here. If you haven't seen the tour on our truck setup, you can check that out. We have a bunch of videos on that, but this is the CVT tent we've been living in for uh, basically 60 days, Zamp, a uh, 90 watt panel along with 100 amp hour lithium Battleborn battery and a Dometic CFX 55 cooler, which we keep all of our food in. This truck has been money so far. On this side of the RV, not a whole lot to talk about. The other end of the baggage door, you can see the slide right behind us. That is something we've never had before. Some people love slides, some people hate slides. Uh, we want the extra space. We wanted to go from our van to something much bigger and have a little bit more room in there. And I think, I think we nailed it. So we're not sure. It's a Schwintec slide system. Um, they do laminate the sides, the top, and the bottom, so they're very well insulated. And so far, we haven't had any issues with it. Um, cross our fingers, I guess. Slide topper on top, you can see. Uh, that's also part of the titanium package, um, which is a nice just feature to kind of keep the sun off and keep the dirt, debris, and all that off the slide. Nice big window on the slide side inside. You'll see Chris talk about the dinette table, and that's where we'll be working and eating and really like the, the nice big windows there. On this side, a uh, fridge vent here, and we're planning on replacing this with a 12 volt fridge. I wish there was an option to just get that from the factory because there's a hole, big hole right here in the side of your RV. And right up on top, there's a vent also for the RV absorption propane fridges. And we want a 12 volt. So it's kind of a bummer that we have to you know, have these big holes in here when we're not even gonna be using them. But that's just pretty much normal stuff. Um, water fill, um, cable, and satellite, along with a black tank flush. And this is an insulated door that has hot and cold water for the shower. So pretty cool there. Light for your uh, dump station down here. We're new to that. We had a macerator in the van, and so we're gonna get our first taste of the stinky slinky. Hopefully not literally, but 30 amp power cord there. And on the back, 
we'll kind of round it out the outside here. This is that um, bumper for storage for the hose. And then underneath is the welded um, bike rack hitch, which is like 250 pounds, not for towing, but just for a bike. We are gonna put our e-bikes back here. I think um, Hollywood racks, which is our rack, doesn't recommend having them on a trailer because of like the micro vibrations they said moving back and forth, which can cause like stress cracks and eventually ruin your rack. So we gotta look a little bit more into that, but that's kind of the system right there. They do give you a spare tire. That's pretty cool. Giant uh, ladder, which we're uh, pretty stoked about to use like our exercise bands as like multiple high anchor points. We never had a really high anchor point in the truck or in our van, so we like that a lot. Um, there's also a backup camera up there. That's part of the titanium package. Not too bad, that helps out a lot. Big LED backup lights, uh, that's part of the titanium package. Um, brake lights, running lights up top, and on this side is a 10 gallon electric and propane water heater. So they give you a little bit bigger one instead of the six gallon, you get bumped up to the 10 gallon. And I think that wraps it up out here, and let's check in with Chris. Welcome, come on in. First of all, I'm very proud that we now have a screen door. That is something that is new for us the first time. It's those little things that you don't have and then you get them and you realize how awesome it is. Including for hard walls, after camping in a tent for 60 days, we are really excited to have a space called home. It hasn't fully sunk in yet, but it slowly is. And we love the space. It's a 22 foot floor plan. You can see it's nice and open and it is a studio style, which at first we really weren't into. We weren't seeking that out, but now I think that we're really gonna like it because it is such a short length. If you were to add in a partitioned bedroom, it would feel very tight in here. So I think that we're gonna learn to love it. Also talking about loving is our kitchen. And right away you'll see this great big countertop. This kitchen layout is one of the reasons why we chose this specific floor plan. I love to cook. We're going to bring back a lot of fun cooking things in the future and there's gonna be a lot of magic happening here. We love the cabinets that come in this titanium. It is a really nice upgraded wood. And so the cabinets, the countertop, an oven. I'm really excited to have an oven. And this big giant sink is a huge attraction to us. Some things that we're not so fond of is the wallpaper and the backsplash. So my very first project that I'm going to start today is painting. We're going to brighten it up. We're going to match it to the ceiling. We took a lot of tips from our friends, Matt and Diana from Adventurous Way. They're two of the smartest people we know. And so we really are just kind of taking some of their footsteps and we're gonna do the same thing to our walls. We're gonna paint them. We're gonna do a backsplash in the kitchen and that's gonna really change the appearance. The cabinet space is very nice. There's nothing in them right now because I do plan on painting that wallpaper that's behind there, but you can see there's extra big storage. I am buying things for the kitchen that I haven't been able to buy in years. So number one on my list was an air fryer. We have an air fryer on the way. Um, also getting things like mandolins, like so I can make french fries and just fun gadgets that I have never had space for. So these cabinets and the space that they provide us is really exciting to me. Here you have the hood vent, which Aaron showed you the exterior vent hole. So when we're cooking here on the stovetop, we can push some of that smoke outside. And it is a triple burner, which I have never had a triple burner before. So this is another great thing. I really like the oven. It looks nice and residential. Got a little spice rack holder here. Lots of big counter space under here. And we'll move over to the fridge. And I absolutely love the fact that the fridge is on this side. So when you walk into the kitchen and the doorstep, you aren't blocked by a giant fridge. You can have the space to drop things. Your fridge is out of the way. You don't even notice it. It is a great size fridge, but since it is a propane fridge, Aaron said already that we do plan to sell this and replace it with a Dometic 10 cubic foot. Yep. 
and that's going to be a beautiful fridge to put in here. We're going to get a lot of extra space and the best part is it's the same footprint so we'll be able to just pull this one out, drop the new one in, bada bing, bada boom, it's going to be easy and we're going to love it. I'll take you over to the bathroom next. We actually have a dry bath which was a must on our list. After having a wet bath for two and a half years, we really wanted a dry bath. So we do have a nice, great big shower with glass. You get a beautiful skylight up above. So when you're showering, it's just a natural, bright experience. Um, you do have the shower. You have a little seating bench if you wanted to plug the floor, soak your feet a little bit. You can. I honestly don't think we'll be doing that too often, but it's nice to know that the option is there. Also in the bathroom, we have a toilet, pretty standard. We have holders, we have towel holders, a fan, nice shelving, and incredible storage. This is really exciting to us as well because in the wet bath we had zero storage. So we had to store toiletries up in the kitchen. It's gonna be really nice for everything to be in its own area as it should be and to be able to like brush your teeth in the bathroom instead of in the kitchen, which we previously did. We also have um, this nice vanity mirror that lights up. I will be using this, I'm sure, for a lot of things. And then your standard water pump lights, fans. I really like that there is a second water pump button in the restroom so that if you're in here and your pump's not on, you don't have to holler at your partner to turn it on for you. So that's great. That's about it for the bathroom. Um, we'll kick over to some storage in the front entryway. We have this really great coat closet. Nice hanging space. It's really quite large in there. I also think that this will be where we store things like our broom and our vacuum, which we don't have yet, but it's like the tallest storage. So we'll be putting some household items in there as well as clothing. There's a nice big drawer here and a little bit of space right here, which we do plan to probably put some shoes. Um, I don't think it's going to be permanently cluttered with shoes, but it's nice to have a little drop area for when you get in, you can put shoes there. I will be getting a new mat. That one came with the unit. It's great to have something right away to get you started. Um, but you know, you want to put your own touches on things. Oh, and I forgot to mention in the bathroom, we will be back splashing the bathroom as well. So after we paint it, we'll get a nice little backsplash in there and it will look decorated. There are, um, USB ports littered everywhere throughout this trailer, which is great. So you can charge your devices conveniently. You got your 12 volt, you've got your USBs. We'll show you more. There's actually a lot of those in the bedroom, so that's great. Here's our slide out area, which has the dinette. I'm really, really thrilled to have a table. We didn't have a kitchen table for a long time, so we're gonna be working here. We're gonna be eating here, just lounging here. It's very multi-purpose. It's nice and big. We do plan on covering these seats, reupholstering them. Um, I don't know when that will happen, but it is on our very soon list. We have these great big drawers and we'll be putting probably work equipment in here. I don't know exactly what's gonna go where, but we love the size of them. The carpet we like on our feet, it's nice and soft and comfy. And the color, I don't mind the color actually. I think it's gonna be nice and hide dirt pretty well. This right here, we're in debate about. We kind of like the nice wood, but we might consider painting that as well. I think we'll end up leaving it. One thing I do want to do though is remove this plaque, this outdoors RV plaque. If it pops off cleanly and we can still leave this behind it, then we'll do that. We'll have to see what we're dealing with once we dig into that. On the windows, we have really great blackout rollers. These are an upgrade for the titanium package and we really love them. In addition to these, I do want to get just some basic curtain rods and install some nice flowy fabric. That way during the day we can let some natural light in and have a nice softened effect. Moving into the bedroom, a nice big bed, a permanent bed that we don't have to make every day. There's a lot of storage underneath here. 
This is where Aaron will be installing our new Battleborn lithium system. So that's going to be electronics down there. We are planning on putting in three Battleborn game changers, which will be 810 amp hours of lithium. And we're really excited about that. Aaron will be doing a video on it, so stay tuned for that build out to come. Along with 800 to 1000 watts of solar on the roof, we're still configuring that. We're gonna start with the batteries first and then do the solar next. Also in the bedroom, we do have a lot of great storage in here. Again, there's nothing in here because I wanna get everything painted. So that's a really good motivator for me to get that project finished so that we can actually move our contents in here. Lots of great overhead storage. There's even a drawer on each side here. There you can see that big storage drawer. There's one on each side. The mattress is a memory foam. The titanium upgrade comes with an upgraded mattress. We really like it. We prefer a firmer mattress and it's really comfortable for us. We spent last night in here. That was our very first night and we slept beautifully. Also, the blackout curtains are really great. Aaron was outside while the lights were on. He couldn't see a single glimpse of light. So that is really great that we don't have to do any types of modifications on the blackout curtains themselves. We get nice big countertops for your bedroom stands and you get those charging ports in here that I mentioned are littered throughout. You have them here, you have them over there. They seem to be quite generous with the chargers so that's nice. You can see the window which Aaron pointed out outside. Um, it's great. It lets a lot of light in here. All of the windows let a lot of natural light in, including the skylights. So it's very bright in here during the day and it warms up quickly when the sun comes out. It does come with a little pillow insert that you can close that off for your blackout at night or just to keep it more insulated when you don't want that open. We have a fan above us. We have lights above us. The bedroom has its own set of recessed lights up top. Plus you get these great touch reader lights that are optional for which setting you want it at. There's lights on here so that you can control them while you're in bed. You don't have to get up and out to turn the lights off. You get the TV, which swivels. So you can watch it from the bed or the kitchen. DVD player, CD player. You can sync your Bluetooth to this to listen to Spotify. You can loop it through the speakers inside. You get two of the speakers inside, two of the speakers outside. I think long term down the road, Aaron might upgrade those speakers to something with a little more bump so we can have better quality. It's not horrible, but it's not the best out there. So that's a someday on our wish list. And we do have one great big cabinet back here that goes into that sink cabinet. So you get nice front and back access. There's a lot of space back here. This is one of those areas where you kind of cram the nitty gritty, maybe some bulk stuff that you don't need very regularly, but we will certainly fill that up. Another thing we really like about this area here is you could use this as a standing desk, put your laptop here, just use this space for multi-purpose stuff. And I think Aaron's gonna be here a lot because he gravitates to this already. We have ducted air conditioner in here, which is really cold. It works really great and it's quiet. And you get these vents up top, which you can adjust and shoot the air to target it. It's really quiet air conditioner compared to what we had before because it is ducted and it doesn't drop down. So Aaron isn't like ducking to clear his head. And that's a great thing. Overall, the height in here is something that we were attracted to because being in the van, Aaron is 6'2", he was slumping over a lot. And so that was really important to us both for him to have a lot of standing space. He's really comfortable in here and that makes me happy. We also have vented heater ducts throughout, one, two, three. So the heat gets pushed throughout the trailer rather than just getting blasted in one section of your house. The AC and the heat do also go to the bathroom as well. So there are vents inside the bathroom. So overall, 
first impressions of this travel trailer. This thing costs around $50,000. Um, the quality of it is pretty good on most parts. I mean, we've literally had this thing for less than a day now. Um, I like a lot about it. There's just a few small things um, in like the side paneling to the cabinets. Like the front doors are really nice, um, but like the side panelings are a little bit thinner. And um, you know, there's just a few like small things that we'll, we'll go more into in the future on that. Um, what are your overall thoughts? Overall, I'm just excited to have a home again because we were outside of a home for so long. So it feels, when you're inside of here, it feels like a house. And that's, I think, the most impactful thing to me. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like you're in an RV. You don't feel like you're in a van. And that, it feels really homey and comfortable and warm. I like it. Um, yeah. A lot of the touches in the kitchen, I really like the appliances. Mm -hmm. The cabinetry is great. The floor is great. There are some cosmetic things that we will change, but those are those are things that are manageable to change. The bones of this trailer is good, and we talk about that a lot. Like we picked this because the structure is solid. It has the foundation and the bones, and then you can just kind of put your own pizzazz on the things that you aren't so fond of. Yeah, I think a good um, video that we could do is like the RV quality, you know, construction in 2022. Um, we could talk a little bit about price increases. Outdoors RV had a huge price increase at the beginning of the year, one in the middle of the year, and we just heard there's another very large one that's like $2,800 on these travel trailers that's coming out at the end of this year or the third quarter, fourth quarter. Um, and so that is something that, you know, you really have to keep in mind. It's quite crazy. Uh, from 2021 to 2022, you might be seeing 10 to 20% price increases. Um, we had one of the roller blinds fall down already. Um, there's just some of the construction I could tell uh, the table wasn't put together correctly so it's got a little bit more play in it than it should and there's just a few a few things that uh, we'll probably go into but we don't want to like completely um, thrash this or go the other way and say this is the best trailer in the world right away. We've literally had this thing since yesterday at uh, three o'clock. Yeah, so we're still within our first 24 hours. <laughs> Absolutely. So thanks everybody for watching this video. We really do appreciate it. We still have tent videos coming out. We still have a bunch of RV videos we're gonna be doing now. And uh, we're just gonna try to stay as busy as possible because we have so much going on with the renovation and the electrical system. And uh, we're gonna bring all that to you.